Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can insert data in MySQL database table with Laravel. So for that first we need to set configuration for database in .env file of our project. After that we will create controller, model and view. And in view file we have to create HTML form. Then we will create a table inside our MySQL database and we will store our data in that uh, database table. And at last we will discuss some important interview question as well as we will test that everything is working fine or not. Alright. And this is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first let's open open.env file and check and set the configuration. So you can find this .env file on the root of your Laravel project. And there you need to uh, make some changes in your configuration. And if the these changes are already done, then you don't need to do anything. So first you need to check the database connection. So database connection, because there we are using the MySQL database. So you just need to put there MySQL, everything in me uh, in the small characters. After that, you can uncomment these uh, configuration. The host name should be localhost. Then port should be same for MySQL. After that DB database. Uh, so it should be the same whatever you are created the database for connect. So here you can see that in my PHP my admin I already created the database with the name of Laravel right and same you need to put there. So for example if you created the database name with the company then you need to mention their company. If your database name is let's say uh, college then similarly you have to put their college only and by default database username and password are uh, username is root and password is blank but you can say that null also right but if you made any change with the username and password with your mysql then you have to put the same thing there and whenever you will just uncomment these things you will find one error whenever you will use your laravel project on the browser okay let me uh, just clean everything and uh, restart the php artisan server right then you will find that you have some issue uh, like laravel dot session dot does not exist table laravel dot sessions does not exist like what he there uh, it want to say like in your uh, laravel uh, database there is a no session table reason being because by default session drivers are database so if you will make it file then session will not store in the database that will be stored in the uh, you can say that uh, in your local file system right so uh, then if you, if you just make it file then you will find that this is perfectly working fine there is no issue at all all right so this is the configuration uh, that we need to set keep in mind it should be correct otherwise uh, your project will be not connected with the mysql database so the next thing we need to create a controller model and view so there i'm putting their php artisan make controller and controller name is let's say use student controller student controller why i am putting their con uh, student controller name there because my database table is related to the student and there we are inserting the data so that's why uh, everything should be related so i'm just mentioning their controller name is student controller you can hit enter after that let me create uh, okay let me show you where this is created i'm but i'm sure that you aware about this so inside app http controller and here it is after that whenever we will create model the model will be created inside this models folder so my model name will be php artisan make model and model name will be student see uh, there is a uh, you can say that combination for your model name as uh, with the database table name for example if your database name is uh, students right uh, sorry your table name is students then uh, your model name should be student right so your model name will be similar basically you can say that and your database table name will be plural and if you don't want to uh, like follow this uh, combination that's fine uh, for that you can uh, you can just go to the student uh, model and you can mention your database table name also how you can do that i let you know right so the next thing is we need to create a view also so just Right there, PHP artisan make uh, view and view name. Let's say is also add student because there we are adding student. Right, it's because uh, after uh, this part we have to create display list to student, update student, delete student also. So, so so that we can identify like what is the purpose of this view. 
we are mentioning their add student so if i just enter there you can see that again we have one more file in the resources views and add student so there i am creating a form uh, yeah and before this form let me create a table in the database right so i am creating the table with the name of students as my model name is student there right and the, everything should be in the smaller letter so first letter and every letter after that we can add there six columns right number of columns and let's create there then let me add some important uh, field names like id then name email phone number and there should be two more fields created at and updated at they will be automatically changed by the laravel whenever we will create any uh, new student or update any student data right after that the id should be integer and the size should be 10 or 30 is fine then name should be varchar email and uh, this batch it should be not batch actually it should be the phone number yeah then it should be can also be varchar because sometime we use their uh, plus and something right then created and updated should be the date type then we can mention the length there or whatever you want to mention there yep and after that the id should be auto incremented so it can be automatically increased whenever we will insert the any new data so if i just click on the save you will see that see that the new student table is created but there is no data at all for now all right to add the data inside this we have to create one form but before that let's create heading also add new student all right and then let me create a form and form method should be post and inside this let me create a input field and again the name can be let's say name only and we can add the placeholder and that could be let's say enter name or something let's add br tag and two more fields with email enter email and then name also enter name mm, yeah this is a phone number so enter phone number sorry about that okay and at last we have to add a button also and button text can be let's say add student or something to use and display it we have to create a route for this so let's move to the routes and then web.php and there we can add new route let's say route then view and view name will be uh, i'm just adding the route with the name of add and view name is add student and let's see is it working or not and before that you have to check your php artisan server is running or not now this is running we can refresh this okay okay so this should be add only right yeah and one more thing which we forgot so we have to use their csrf token also at the rate csrf token right okay so now we have to submit it to the controller and again to submit it we have to create the route so let me create one more route and for that we have to import the controller in our web.php and we need to create a function also so let me create one function with the name of add and there let me return something let's say add function called or something yeah and then let's import it inside the web.php use and the path of your uh, a student controller and then we can add a route colon colon post because we are using the post method in our uh, this form right and then let's say add will be the route for this yes the two route can be same if the methods are different because there we are using the view and post two methods which are different so route can be the same this can be asked in the interview question keep in mind then student colon colon class and the method name is again add and this method where this is added 
inside our student controller so i think everything is fine right now and now let's see uh, are we able to call this yeah one more thing in the uh, blade.php we have to add their path where we want to uh, you can say that sum in this form now if i just refresh it and put some details so let's say anil siddhu which is my name then email id is let's say anil at the rate test.com which is dummy actually uh, sorry for that uh, this one and then phone number is again just some dummy number and if i just click on the add student here you can see that this function is getting called perfectly so now we have to import our uh, model there and with that we will store this data we store this data in the database right but first let's try to display and get this data in the controller right this data so how we can do that so you, if you just put there echo yeah one more thing we have to get the request there with this request class and uh, you can use any parameter name there let's say request and if i just mention there uh, let me return it don't need to be echo there dollar student and then i will just say that input you will see all inputs are visible there so let me add their data again uh, anil siddhu then email id is let's say anil at the rate test and some dummy number and if i just click over there here you can see that the token name email id phone number everything is there right so now the thing is uh if you want to get the only one field maybe if i want to get the name then you can just mention their name and then you can see that we got the name and if you want to get the email id this is also working fine right so we are able to get this data in the controller also the next thing we have to import our this model inside the controller so just simply use their use then model and then student which is our model name so there let's take a student variable and create an instance of this student class right and the next thing that we need to do just use their student uh, student and this student you know that because this model file name is student and our database table name is student so they are by default connected we don't need to configure them manually right so their student arrow name if i just mention this that means we are referring to this name field right and what we want to store there uh, dollar request then name similarly if i just use two more things email and keep in mind one more thing so these field so let's say if you are using their uh, username right then you have to mention their username only so whatever you are mentioning the name with the input field you have to mention the same right right now we are mentioning name because our field name is also name and the both are uh, similar like uh, database table field as well as our form input field so last one is phone number and like this and now after that just simply mention their student and save and uh, after that if you want to just get the result inside this variable you can check if result is true dollar result is true then you can echo student add it else what you can mention there otherwise you can return it simply that's also fine you can return student added and that you can see the student not added if there is some error right so every i think everything is fine so the data should be added so if i just go back and put some details again let's say anil siddhu email id is anil at the rate test.com phone number is some dummy number uh, like this click over there here you can see the student added that means student is inserted in the database and the flow is go to the first condition and if i just check in the database there we go 
similarly let's try to add one more student peter peter at the test and then some dummy number and again we got the student added and here we go right so as i told you let's say if your database name or database table name and the model name is not in the sync as we mentioned like there is a certain condition like uh, student table your table name should be plural and uh, your model name should be singular so let's say your database table name is something different let me just change it students one for example right and if i try to add this data then you will find if i just try let's say i'm just adding bruce bruce at the rate test.com and some dummy number and if i just try to add you can see that the base table is not found students is not found so what you need to do for that go to the your model then simply add one property protected table and table name will be whatever you are mentioned there so your table name is student one and then simply mention this you will find this is perfectly working fine now you can see that we got the third data there right so again you can back change back to the student only that's the good thing and you don't need to add this line and still this will be work fine and if you want to add one more data let's say tony tony at the rate test.com and some random number and there we go tony is there so that's all for if, if you still have any confusion any query in database or in this part you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm number for donation and please subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks guys